Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This fellow is your host, Bill Miller. All right, we have an unboxing today. I believe I know what it is and I believe these are some Warren magazines. So, <laughs> maybe not the best packing, but not the worst either. So, we're gonna use our box cutter made for right-handers. And we're going to dig in. I don't know if I can show these to you before I see them. It might be difficult. But if I can, rest assured, I will. All right. So we've got cardboard in between. Looks like they're bagged and boarded. I'd say pretty good packing, actually. I can't complain. And when I do, no one listens anyway. So, what the heck. Alright. Like I said, no complaints. They did a good job right, packing this. So. We do have some tape, though, to navigate. So, let's try to do that without cutting any of the books. Always a key. Okay. Mm. Challenge indeed. We're getting there. Now, I would fast forward through this part, but the actual unboxing itself is the Jackson Roy Kirk's favorite part. And I wouldn't cheat him of that opportunity. Right. Now, I think will cut into the bag itself. We've got one piece of cardboard off. This tape is very sticky. And it's not giving. And I'm cutting toward myself, which is never a good idea. So, all of you youngsters out there, Never cut towards yourself. It's an accident waiting to happen. All right, I think we might be okay. There we are. Okay. Gosh darn it, we're done. And first, we have Creepy, issue number 15. Just a beautiful Frank Frazetta cover. And I would say that this is a really nice, check out that date stamp. Isn't that cool? A really nice mid-grade example. So just looking at the front, right? Not looking at the back. I'd say this is a 4.5 to a 5.5. It's not without its issues, but it's a really honest example. Love it. All right, creepy number 15. Next up, we have creepy issue number Twenty-three. This one is a little bit lower grade. 
particularly around the top. See that discoloration there. And it's chewed up on the corner. I would probably put this at maybe um, a 2.5. Maybe a three, but I think that's pushing it. Probably a 2.5. But super excited to have it. Creepy, issue number 23. Now we have creepy issue number 65. I can't remember. I think this is a Ken Kelly company. But as Gray Man would say, this one's in pretty good nick. This one's pretty nice. Maybe, maybe a seven, 7.0. 7 so, Certainly not as high a grade as I would want, but these will do for now. Creepy number 65. All right, and this one's a beautiful Frazetta cover. This is creepy number 131. So they took Frazetta's covers between the three titles, Vampirella, Creepy and Eerie and reused them several times in later issues of some of the titles. So I think this was originally used in an Eerie, um, an early Eerie issue. This one look, looks pretty nice. Just from the front, as I said, I'm not looking at the back. Um, you know, that's an eight, 8.5 maybe, but it's a later issue too, right later in the run. So just a beaut. All right. We've got creepy number five, another Frazetta cover. Super excited about that. I guess this is an all creepy haul. I didn't know that. This one looks pretty nice too. Maybe 7.5. It's got that spine roll, but we're pressed maybe an eight. So seven to an eight, I'd say. Fantastic, creepy number five. And what's better than one creepy number five? Two creepy number fives. Numbers five. Numbers five or number fives? You decide. What's this one? This one's in pretty good shape too. Maybe a 6.5 to a 7.5. All right. Another wonderful creepy cover. Frazetta, creepy number seven. Well, Frazetta heavy with this haul. Just a beaut. In a nice shape. Some rubbing on the spine.
maybe a six to seven, 6.0 to 7.0. Love that, one of my favorite Frazetta images. And what's better than one? Two. This is our last one for this haul. And this one is not in as good a shape. This might be looking at an inch split of the spine on the bottom, some ticks, serious corner bang, in the upper right hand corner, some cover little piece missing, maybe a quarter inch lower right. So this one might be a four maybe pushing it a 4.5, but you see there, 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 those are the big issues. Right, let's real quickly, let's take a look inside. I think that might be fun, right? All right. There's the back. See, check out that. See, that's fine. But that's all right, because we're going to look through anyways. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember this. <laughs> Did I say 4, 4.5? Let's try 2.5, maybe 3. We've got Uncle Creepy letters page and the start of the first story. All black and white interiors. Like most of the Warren Mags. I won't show every page, just a selection of them. This is advertising on the back, a creepy mask. That's pretty cool. I think Comic Collector Geek has that. He's got like the biggest Warren collection in the world. I think he has the mask. Just fabulous art and stories on the inside. Good, competent. But if you compare them to the pages I've shown you in the Savage Sword of Conan videos, I think you can see the difference in quality. For the most part, the Savage Sword of Conan art is unparalleled in comics. Consistently good from story to story. Add for Blazing Combat. And adds on the back and then the back cover. So that is creepy issue number seven. And that will do it for the creepy Frazetta heavy haul that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.